What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back. Is that weird to change up the intro? I, I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, guys, today I wanted to talk to you about what I've learned by racing. Uh, the last few weeks, I think the last three weeks, I've actually been out at the race course doing some multi-GP racing, and I just wanted to have a conversation about, you know, what I've been learning, what that's been like, uh, what I've kind of been getting out of it. The first two times I went out, I kind of did a vlog style, show what's racing, show how I did, but I didn't really want to do a third one of those. I just want to talk about the experience, talk about overall what I've been learning and what I'm doing going forward. So first and foremost, the first thing I want to say is the community has been amazing. Um, just some really great guys, at least around me. Um, a lot of people to learn from, a lot of people are always trying to talk and, hey, if you tried this, if you tried that, here's what I like, what do you guys like? It's been really, really cool. Um, there's a lot of really good races, a lot of really fast guys. Um, at this last race, we had one guy who raced with the DRL. Um, you'll probably see him. You know, he goes by beast mode, and that was just awesome. Um, I actually got to race with him in all my heats, and just being passed by him on your heat, it's an experience, and it's just awesome. So seeing the way he goes, the way he takes corners, is just different than everybody else, and that was just so awesome. Um, definitely an inspiration for racing. Definitely look forward to racing with him in the future, and others too. There's just so much to learn from everyone else, and, and that's just been really, really great. So another thing I've noticed is just how organized the race is really makes a big difference. If the organizers are on top of letting people know when they're up, things just go a lot smoother. Um, this last race was really, really, really well organized. Um, we got through our laps really quick. We got through our heats really quick. And we did five heats when probably less than three hours with I think five different races. So 25 total races all done in three hours. I thought that was really impressive and it made the whole experience a lot more enjoyable. Now, from an actual racing perspective, the thing that I think did catch me a little bit by surprise in my first race was that Things don't translate as much as I would have expected from freestyle. Um, I think it's a lot to do with my style of freestyle. But, so basically what I'm saying is, it, it's not that freestyle doesn't help learn to fly, but just the way I take turns is different. During a race, there's a lot of 180 degree, very sharp turns, and I just don't do that that much in my freestyle. I tend to do these, you know, longer, more sweeping turns. I like to do fast turns, but, they're different than in the races and like I knew it'd be different but I didn't realize how different that experience would be. I guess I've noticed that my freestyle style of those long sweeping turns it definitely allows for a lot of slop I guess and when you're on the race course taking those turns you don't have those same luxuries you know the tight the turns have to be tighter um, the angles have to be tighter you just have to be a lot more focused on where you're going. You have less time to line things up, um, and it's just a different level of skill that you have to do. Now, at the same time, something that I find kind of interesting is that even though what I was doing in freestyle didn't directly translate, I feel like the things I'm doing in racing, they're actually helping me with my freestyle. I feel like it's basically helping me with my repertoire that I use during freestyle. Just being able to turn a little bit different, turn a little bit sharper, focusing on maybe lining up small areas more easily. Um, I feel like it helps me do different things in freestyle that I'm really enjoying. And I wasn't expecting to get that benefit. I think the biggest thing that I've learned through racing, at least the races that I've done so far, is that consistency is king. Uh, consistency means more than speed even. And I think that's where I've really struggled so far in the races. Everybody except maybe for a select few crash in at least one of their heats. And what that means is even if they go faster than you in other races, if you can consistently get your laps, you're gonna place really well in these races. So the racing that I've done so far has all been based on number of laps. And the thing that I find really interesting about that type of racing is that it doesn't matter so much a few seconds on a lap, right? So if you're going 20 seconds per lap or you're going 18 seconds per lap, that's a big difference in speed around the course. But over the course of five laps, that's only 10 seconds. And that may not be enough to get you one more lap. So in the end, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Um, you really have to go a lot faster before those things start making a difference. Now, I will say that that experience has made me really interested in trying something like a first to three laps, first to four laps. 
um, fastest laps, fastest three laps, something along those lines, because I feel like the experience would be really interesting. It's a little bit different, right? In that case, a one second difference in a lap or a two second difference in a lap is gonna make a massive difference. And I just think that'd be a really cool experience. Obviously where I'm at so far, I don't know that it would really matter too much. Um, I still need to work on consistency first and then worry about the speed, but I still really like to try it. Now, a key thing that I've noticed while racing is that my nerves definitely seem to get the best of me. But what I find interesting is that even though I tell myself I don't really care, right? Placing isn't that important. If I crash, it's no big deal. I have spare quads, I don't have to worry about the parts. Um, I still get really nervous. The thing I noticed is I get way more nervous when it counts, right? So in practice, I've actually had some really good laps. Um, I had some practice laps with one of the guys who basically comes in first almost every week and I was able to stay right on him for practice. But when I get out there to actually compete for the heats, things get rough. I start to question my lines. I start to question my ability to hit certain gates. I do a lot more loopbacks. Um, and that's definitely something I gotta work on. Now, my thought process here is that basically it's about practice. It's about number of repetitions, about just having that confidence in my flying. And I've noticed even in the last race, when it got to the last round, things got a lot better. My very last three laps were my best three laps of the day, and they were really consistent. I turned in at 17 seconds each, and I was really happy with that. If I could have been doing 17 second laps the whole day, you know, I'd be a second place finisher, and right? And I know that's not a realistic mark, but it tells me that my physical skills, they might be there. I just gotta work on being more consistent with those skills. Now, one of the other things that I noticed is that I'm not so sure that the rates that I use are really the best thing uh, for racing. So when I do freestyle, I like to do about 800 degrees per second. The problem is that that can be a bit twitchy for the race course, and I'm starting to wonder if it's gonna make sense um, to basically back that off. So one thing that I've done and I plan on playing with is I set my rates to 450 degrees per second on a switch so that as I'm practicing, I can try racing at 800 like I usually do, but then also try racing at 450 and see if that makes a difference. So one thing I'm worried about is you know, getting used to 450 or 800, that muscle memory, if that'll work out. But my hope is that just by practice, I'll be, I can get used to both rates and potentially use one for freestyle and one for racing. So in the end, my current theory is that basically everything just comes down to practice. I need to get out there and practice more. And I still think that most of my flying is gonna be freestyle, but you know what? I gotta sometimes get out to the park, set up some gates and try to hit them. Get that practice in racing during the week so that on the weekend comes and I can race, I can do the best I can. So anyway, speaking of practice, you probably noticed these gates that I'm starting to put up here. I'll have another video coming out on those soon. Um, I decided to get some pop-up gates, try various different brands at different prices, see if they make a difference at all, see how we like them, and uh, let you guys know how they work for my practice. So anyway, I'm getting the practice in today. I'm starting the process. Let's get better at racing. Let's keep having fun. So another thing I'm gonna say from the last race is, I love this quad. Um, this is one of my more recent builds. It's my Martian X frame with my Emax RS2306 motors. This thing just, I feel like I have much better control with this than any of my other quads. The way it takes the turns, the torque it has coming out of the turns, I just love it. It gave me a lot more confidence. Um, took a little bit of getting used to it first just because it was different than the other quads I raced with before, but oh man, is it good. Anyways, speaking of practice, let's get this thing out there and let's rip. So one thing I know from all this is I'm not gonna stop. It's too much fun. Um, I'm gonna keep racing. I'm gonna keep getting better. I'm gonna keep practicing. I'm gonna keep going to the events and you know, maybe by the end of the season, I can do pretty well. Maybe I could qualify for a regional contest or something. That would be just amazing. Um, I still consider myself pretty new in the sport. You know, I think I started back in November. So what's that been? About eight months now, so less than a year. This is my first season of racing. I've done three racing events so far. If I can get far enough to like compete in some races, that would be just amazing. So 
Let's get back to practicing. Let's have some fun. I plan on enjoying my newfound way of enjoying this sport. I love freestyle, I love racing. There's just so much you can do with these quads. Like I always say, I'm addicted. Let's go have some fun. Anyways guys, I got some practicing to do and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace. <laughs>